Glenn Kirshner here. So the month of September started with Representative Kevin McCarthy obstructing the House Select Committee's investigation, presumably to cover up his own misconduct. And the month ended with a slew of subpoenas being issued by the Select Committee to try to get to the bottom of the January 6th attack on our democracy. So the battle for justice continues. And friends, justice is a team sport. We all need to get in the game. Here's a short recap of the legal stories for the month that was September 2021. Hey all, Glenn Kirshner here. So August was an interesting month on the justice front. So I think it's fair to say that in the month of August, we continued to trend toward justice. And justice matters. So Representative Kevin McCarthy just obstructed the House Select Committee's investigation into the January 6th attack on the Capitol. And he did it to cover up his own misconduct and the misconduct of his Republican colleagues. Let's talk about that. Because justice matters. So let's take on a tale of two criminals. One just pleaded guilty to obstructing Congress by trying to stop the election certification. And the other, the House Minority Leader, who just got caught in a lie trying to falsely clear Donald Trump of inciting the insurrection. Let's talk about that, because justice matters. So let's talk about the pitiful path being traveled by House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy and why that path is likely to end inside a courtroom because justice matters. Well, it looks like we have a new dirty dozen in Washington, D.C., because 11 Republican members of Congress just joined Kevin McCarthy's criminal conspiracy caucus, threatening witnesses to try to keep them from cooperating with the House Select Committee's investigation into the insurrection. Let's talk about that because justice matters. So let's talk about this abomination of a law that was passed by Texas, depriving women of their constitutionally protected privacy rights, and why this law is destined to fall somewhere along the way. Because justice matters. So President Biden just removed some Trump-appointed political hacks from military academy advisory boards, characters like Kellyanne Conway and Sean Spicer. Well, that's a great move, Mr. President. And now, how about we turn our attention to another Trump-appointed political hack? Brett Kavanaugh. Because we're losing our constitutional rights here and because justice matters. So let's do a quick update on the status of the House Select Committee's investigation into the January 6th attack on the Capitol. And then let's turn our attention to this absurd new letter authored and signed by characters like Matt Gates and Louis Gohmert, Marjorie Taylor Greene, Andy Biggs, and others. A letter that would be downright comical if this wasn't such a deadly serious subject. But it is a deadly serious subject. Because justice matters. So Attorney General Merrick Garland finally stepped to the microphone, something we haven't seen much of from this Attorney General, to announce that the Department of Justice was suing the state of Texas to stop Texas from violating the constitutional rights of women. And then he went on 
to briefly talk about the threat of terrorism. And I'm glad we finally heard something from him on that topic. Because justice matters. So it looks like there's been a bit of a development in the investigation into the January 6th attack on the Capitol because the FBI, I believe for the first time, is now on record as saying it is considering seditious conspiracy charges. And that's important because holding the insurrectionists accountable for all of the crimes they committed, including the most serious, like justice, matters. So we're learning more about what happened on January 6th, even as the federal government goes about preparing for the next pro-Trump, pro-insurrection rally scheduled for this Saturday. This one will be handled very differently under the Biden administration. Let's talk about that. Because actually preparing to defend our democracy, like justice, matters. So some people are saying that the California recall election is rigged before it's even held. How did we get here? And what are we gonna do about it? Let's talk about that because restoring faith and confidence in our elections, like justice, matters. So let's talk about how the FBI's decision not to investigate 4,500 citizen tips may very well be responsible for Brett Kavanaugh ascending to the Supreme Court. And then let's try to figure out what can be done about it now. Because justice matters. So in light of the exposure of multiple significant failures by the FBI, there's a strong argument to be made that the FBI needs new leadership. Because justice matters. So if the second planned insurrection, scheduled for Saturday, September 18th, is not violent, if it doesn't involve tens of thousands of people attacking the Capitol, what should the takeaway be? Let's talk about that. Because justice matters. So friends, let's take just a few minutes to talk about today's so-called J6 rally in Washington, D.C., which was a spectacular failure. And that's a good thing. Because justice matters. Department of Justice, if you are listening, I mean, it's one of the three words in the name of your organization, Department of Justice. Not the department of, let's just put this behind us and move on. It's not the department of, oh well. Not the department of, let's let bygones be bygones. It's the department of justice. And we're waiting. Because you know, justice matters. So we already knew that the Trump Organization was criminally indicted in the state of New York, and that the Trump Organization's chief financial officer, Alan Weisselberg, was criminally indicted in the state of New York. But today we learned that more indictments are coming. Kind of feels like maybe justice is coming. And justice matters. So two more stories just broke showing that Donald Trump committed crimes in his quest to unconstitutionally retain power. And I know what you're gonna say. You're gonna say, Glenn, it's just more of the same. And here's the thing, it is more of the same. It's more evidence. It's more evidence that proves the need, the non-negotiable need, the democracy-saving need to arrest Donald Trump for his crimes. 
because justice matters. You know, everything Donald Trump does is either hateful, illegal, or just plain ridiculous. And this story falls into the ridiculous category because Donald Trump has just sued his niece, Mary Trump, for $100 million for soiling his good name. Can we have a little bit of fun with this story, friends? Because being able to laugh every once in a while as a distraction from the mess that we are all in, like justice, matters. So evidence of seditious conspiracy charges against Donald Trump and company continues to build, and we anxiously await the arrival of those charges. Department of Justice, if you're listening, and if you need to be reminded, justice matters. So four subpoenas were just issued by the House Select Committee investigating the January 6th attack on the Capitol, the insurrection. And these four subpoenas will actually end up answering several questions, both large and small, about where our democracy goes from here. Let's talk about that. Because justice matters. So Steve Bannon has now tried to explain away or justify his seditious statement to Donald Trump, it's time to kill the Biden presidency in the crib. And here's the good news, friends. His explanation is actually a deeply incriminating statement. Let's talk about that. Because justice matters. So let's take a few minutes to talk about Donald Trump's Georgia state election crimes, because there have been a couple of developments over the last 24 hours or so. One, there's been a pretty thorough analysis published of the crimes Donald Trump committed in Georgia in trying to steal the election. And two, and probably more importantly, Donald Trump just admitted to those crimes, again, out loud. Let's talk about that because justice matters. So we just learned from a whistleblower who served in the Trump administration that Donald Trump and some of his executive branch officials had an unwritten policy. It was a kind of all of government corruption policy. Can we take a few minutes today, friends, to talk about just one concrete fix, one thing we can do that, who knows, maybe will change the way we see federal government service. Because justice matters. So the Republicans seem to think that if they use the law nefariously to deprive people of their rights, somehow that's gonna help them win future elections. Somehow that's a winning formula. Let's talk about why it's not. Because justice matters. So let's talk about what defendant slash insurrectionist Dawn Bancroft did and what she said about Speaker Pelosi. Let's talk about what Federal District Court Judge Emmett Sullivan said about all of that. And then let's talk about where criminal responsibility for the insurrection needs to land. Because justice matters. So let's talk about what was just said in court in two of the insurrection cases and see what we can glean about the direction of the investigation. And that direction better be headed toward justice. Because frankly, I don't think we the people are prepared to accept anything less than full accountability, anything less than justice. Because justice matters.